For those of you that don't know me, I'm Marco's older brother, Bobby. Uh, I hope you'll excuse me. I had intended to speak from memory, but uh, at the last minute I decided to write everything down just to make sure I say everything I need to because it comes from the heart. First of all, on behalf of the bride and groom, I'd just like to thank everyone for their help in making today possible. Uh, lots of people, parents, friends, and relatives, have all pitched in and had a today's celebration. Uh, we've all been waiting for this day for a really long time, and I think a big part of the anticipation was just being able to have all of our friends and family and extend the world for yourself. Uh, wouldn't have been the same without all of you here. I know some of you have traveled a really long way, so thank you all. Uh, being the big brother, I'm especially proud of Marco and David. Uh, it's a real trip to see a little girl all grown up and married. Marco's always made us proud in his character and his actions and his accomplishments. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Marco just graduated from NSU in the summer. Uh, and he was also just promoted to a supervisory position at work. For as, uh, for as great as these accomplishments are, I don't think that I could be happier than to see my brother marry a wonderful woman who I know will love and proud of him in his world. Uh, even though I'm older, I've always looked up to my brother for the type of man he is, uh, which is evident in my new little kids. Marco has always been a true brother to me, and there's no way I could ever do justice to him in the few words that I speak to him in He is a real man, the kind of guy you want to have your back. The kind of guy you respect and aspire to be like. He's always been strong, yet gentle, funny, compassionate, giving, and going. Uh, knowing that the wedding was coming soon, it really made me think about how far we've come, and uh, I've been reminis reminiscing a lot about when we were little kids. Uh, one particular memory popped in my head from the time I was about 10, which would make Mark about 8 or so. Uh, Christmas had just passed, and my dad had given me a pocket knife. Uh, that I've been bugging about for months. Uh, I watched too many movies, and uh, the cool guy always had a knife to get him out of a jam at the right moment. So I carried it with me all the time, just waiting for a chance to use it. Uh, you know, opening packages, things that you could use scissors for. Uh, so one day, Mark and I are in our uh, room playing with our G.I. Joe's. And uh, uh, these are pretty Xbox days. <laughs> And uh, I decided I wanted to have my guy climb up a mountain, which was our bunk bed. So I took a piece of string from a kite and I asked Mark to hold the top so that I could cut. Well, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to hold the knife. So when the line cut, my hand slipped and the tip of the blade went straight into Mark's palm, right into the meat, really deep too. Yeah. The first thing I said, don't tell Dad, don't tell Dad. <laughs> He didn't run the tub either, he just sat there and he was tripping. <laughs> he grimaced, he was a tough little kid. Uh, he took the pain, he didn't even cry, all because he knew that I'd be in for it, and he didn't want to see me get in trouble. Uh, he sat there for a minute or two bleeding until I got scared enough that I said, don't worry, <laughs> maybe you should go to the dad and make sure you're not going to emergency room. <laughs> and only then did he finally get up and have my dad take a look at it. Uh, that's the kind of guy my brother is. He's more concerned for other people than he is for himself, even as an eight-year-old. Uh, he was all right, by the way, no permanent damage. I didn't see my knife for a while. <laughs> I had to take that thing away. Uh, but because of your selflessness, Marco, I know that you're going to make a good husband and father because you're always going to make sure that you and your future kids come first in all things. And I'll never have to worry about you because I know that Tina will always love you as she does now and also put you before yourself. Uh, Marco got into a really serious car accident a few years ago, 